had 7 days to take a brand new account from Division 10 into Division 1 but unfortunately failed due to running out of time. I then gave myself another 50 hours to try to complete that same challenge and this is how that went. So week 2 of the footies promo is here and we're getting a free 85 times 10 pack. Hopefully we can pack one of those items. And we also had a rival towards from the last video ready to claim and we now had a decent chance of packing a footies card. First pack and we've literally just gotten a 75 rated card. The next pack wasn't the greatest too but in the pack after that. Ooh Tony Cruz that's a high rated card that we can use in SPCs. And at this point there were 3 SPCs that I was eyeing and that I wanted to complete. Now in the next pack, we'd pack an 86 rated duplicate Brozovic and we were now forced to complete an SPC. So I'm going to complete Shakiri because I'm not sure if I want to complete any of these other SPCs. And I'll explain why later on, but for Shakiri, we needed a team of the week item and since I didn't want to use an 86 rated card in a team of the week upgrade, I used him to complete an 84 times 10 upgrade and then completed the team of the week upgrade that we needed for Shakiri's SPC. This then allowed me to open more packs and after getting the team of the week item that we needed, we then proceeded to get an 83 rated card in our 50k pack, but we now had the 84 times 10 pack to open. 84 times 10 I thought we got a footies card but it's a rule breaker and it's going to be an 88 rated Eden Jekko. Now behind him were a lot more high rated cards but once again we had another duplicate to get rid of. I then used the team of the week that we got along with the duplicate and some other high rated cards and this allowed me to complete Shakiri's SPC. So Shakiri now belongs to our club and with 99 dribbling that's an insane card. Before making any changes to the team I decided to open the pack that had the potential to transform our team. Team of the season card? Can it be a midfielder? Okay, we're gonna get Bremer. A player would come in clutch later on. Oh, we didn't get any footies items behind him. I was really hoping for a midfielder. I then added Shakiri into the camp position and the player he replaced was Ginola who was tradable. So this allowed me to sell Ginola. But the reason I wanted to pack a midfielder was because at this point we had Casemiro. But unfortunately, he could only play in one position and that limited us when it came to trying to build the rest of the team around him. I then checked to see if there were any midfielders that we could currently afford to replace Casemiro. But unfortunately, we just didn't have the coins. But when I looked at the player objectives for this week, I saw something incredible. No way, you can get a footage Rodri for just completing objectives. Now some of these objectives were too difficult to complete in an online match. So after preparing my team, I went into an offline match of squad battles and started completing the tougher objectives. But once I'd completed all of the objectives that I couldn't do in an online match, okay, we now just have three more objectives that we need to complete and I can do these in an online game. I then proceeded to claim some of the objectives that we had completed during that game and this gave us the XP to get to season level 7. Now one of my goals for this video was to make it to season level 10, but at this point, it was time for us to enter into division rivals and try to complete the rest of Roddy's card as well as make it into division 1. And the first game started off perfectly. Son, good finish. Because after scoring only one goal, our opponent would rage quit and this allowed us to progress in division 3. But it was in the second game when things started to get a bit sticky. Son, from there, oh. Because after spending a lot of time trying to complete one of the objectives which was to score a goal from outside of the box, eventually, defend the corner, no, we conceded. And because I wanted to complete this objective, we ran the risk of losing these games. Now fortunately, my opponent would end up disconnecting from this game, and this meant that our win streak was still intact, but we still needed to complete that objective. Now in the next game that I went into, I'd spend the entirety of the first half trying to complete this objective, but unfortunately to no success. And then early on in the second half, come on, we got to intercept that. No, we conceded a goal. Now fortunately, after this, Son, Yes, that's the objective complete. And now we can win this game. But even with no objective to complete, I still conceded another goal. I'd then be forced to fight back extremely hard to equalize this game once again. But at this point, I was confused because I was convinced that I failed the last challenge due to running out of time. But in this game, it seemed like I failed the challenge because my team was outdated. I then I even managed to equalize the game for the third time. But at this point, it seemed like I just didn't have enough. Reem blocked the shot. No, we're actually gonna lose this game. And this time, I was unable to equalize the game. Conceding my fifth goal would then cause me to lose this game, but my path ahead of me became clearer than ever. So our team is just outdated, and if you wanna make it into Division 1, we're going to have to add as many footies items into this team as possible. Now the difficult objectives for Rodri are now complete, and we can't complete him in Division Rivals. However, one of the areas that we can complete him in is the qualifiers for the Champions Finals. And we have to play the qualifiers for the Champions Finals because we need to play the Champions Finals as well, because the rewards that we can get from that game mode will allow us to get the upgrades that we need but on top of that this week if we can get 15 wins we'll get this premium footies muriel item and having a card like him is crucial if you want to play in the top divisions i then claimed our objectives which got us to level 8 in the season pass but what we were doing at this point was risky because playing in the champions finals would require me to sacrifice half of the time in this challenge in the pursuit of getting 15 wins which i failed to do the last time i played in the champions finals in order to get an upgrade that i believe could take me into division one 
so I entered into the qualifiers and the first game went incredibly smoothly. It was a lot easier than the games that I was playing in Division Rivals. Now after playing this first game, I noticed that by playing and winning a few more, I would get packs back as rewards and this would give me higher rated cards that I could use to complete SPCs that would help me to add more footies items into my team. Now knowing this, I went into the next few games and completely dominated the next few opponents that I played against. And after scoring a lot of goals and making some good progress towards completing Roger's objective, eventually we were qualified for the champions finals. So we're now qualified but we just have to win one more game in order to unlock Rodri and because of that and the fact that as you win more games in the qualifiers you get better rewards I'm going to play the rest of the games that we have in the qualifiers. It was important that I played and won these games because there was a footies item that I wanted to purchase for 200,000 coins so we needed to make a lot of coins and having players like Son would help us do exactly that because these items would help us win the next few games that we played and eventually we had some decent tradable packs to open that we could make some coins from. We had also completed a lot more objectives of which one of them was Rodri's card and I can't believe they just gave us this card as an objective. It's going to be absolutely insane. And we were now a lot closer to level 10 in the season pass where we can get a significant upgrade. I then switched Casemiro out for Rodri and then I sold the other midfielder that we had for roughly 100,000 coins and this would help us to get a lot closer to getting the midfielder that I wanted. But after listing him I saw that I completed an objective and so since we did need XP, I purchased a couple of bronze cards, which was another one of the objectives that I had. And at this point, I saw that by just earning moment stars, we could get the XP that we needed to get to season level 10. And after getting the stars that I needed within the moments game mode, we had now completed the objectives and gotten the XP that we needed to get to level 10 in the season pass. Now, if you're wondering why we haven't opened any of the packs that we got in just yet, that's because we have duplicate items that we need to get rid of. Now, obviously, in order to get rid of the duplicates, we have to complete an SPC, but since it's really close to 6 pm, and that's when EA releases content into the game, I don't want to commit to anything and then come to regret that decision in a bit. So I claimed the player pick and then I opened it and we got an 86 rated card that we could use in SPCs but then I couldn't claim the level 10 reward because I wasn't sure if I'd be completing Rodrigo and if I would complete Rodrigo I would definitely want Modric over the pack that is here. Now since we still needed about 40,000 coins to get the player that I wanted I started to complete the market matchups SPC because that SPC rewards you with tradable packs back and from those tradable packs we could make even more coins than the coins that we spent on completing the squad. So that's the final squad for the market matchups SPC and we did have to spend some coins but I'm confident that we'll get all of those coins back and more. Now it is 6pm so let's see what content they released. No way they just released a footies Tammy Abraham and he has 5 star skills as well. And instantly I was happy that I waited for the content to come out. So Tammy's SPC isn't too expensive so I'm gonna use the duplicates that we have to complete the most expensive squad for Tammy. I was then also ready to make this decision. So since we need high rated cards to complete Tammy I'm gonna go with the 85 times 10 players pack because I don't think we'll be able to complete Rodrigo he's way too expensive and if I did we could just purchase Modric off of the market as he's only about 140,000 coins. I then completed the penultimate squad for Tammy Abraham's SBC and then I crafted a team of the week pack but we needed to open our untradeable packs to get the cards that we needed for the final squad. So I started opening the untradeable packs that we had and these packs gave us the high rated cards that we needed for the final squad but then I also opened the team of the week pack that we had because we needed a team of the week for the final squad and we now had an 85 times 10 pack that we got from level 10 in the season pass. 85 times 10 can we pack ourselves our first footies card? Hello? Oh I got baited again it's a rule breaker walkout and it's going to be Davinson Sanchez. Uh, behind him was a bunch of mid-tier cards in terms of rating. But these mid-tier items were more than enough to help us to complete the final squad for Tammy Abraham. And now, we have just gotten ourselves a 96 rated footies item for our team. Now the player that I wanted to purchase for roughly 200,000 coins was Benesse's footies item. And after spending the coins that I did on the market matchups SPC, we now had to make 40,000 coins from our tradable packs in order to be able to purchase this card. Now after getting an 83 rated card in the first pack, it started to look unlikely that we'd actually be able to do this. However, wait this card is actually selling for 2,800 coins? I'm gonna make Make sure I sell every single item in these packs because we can make a lot of coins here. And for some reason, these items were selling for so many coins at the time that I was opening these packs. Now I listed all of the lower rated gold items, but whenever I packed a card that was 83 rated or above, it was as if I won the lottery because these items were selling for more than 6,000 coins each and they weren't necessarily hard to pack. Small rare gold players pack. Yes, we're getting our first promo card so it's at least 10,000 coins. And it's going to be Jean Felix's winter wild card. Now he sold for just under 18,000 coins, but even the 82 rated gold items were selling for upwards of 2,000 coins. We just packed an 83 and an 84 rated card, and I can literally sell the 83 rated card for over 3,000 coins, and the 84 sells for almost 5,000 coins as well. And so I continued to take advantage of this, and I kept on opening these packs, getting items that weren't necessarily the highest rated, but selling them because I could make a lot of coins off of them, and then also listing all of the lower rated gold items that we packed. And eventually, after we ran out of packs, we have 229,000 coins, but we still 
have 69 items that need to sell. Now obviously having these coins meant that we can now afford to purchase Benas's midfielder card and that's another footies item that we're adding into our team. And remember, it was important that we made these upgrades because we at least needed to get 15 wins in the Champions Finals if we wanted to have a chance of making it into Division 1. So I added Benas here into our team and then both of our attackers were outdated so it didn't matter who I replaced. So I just replaced Martin Terrier with Tammy Abraham's footies item but at this point I saw that we still had over 40,000 coins so I purchased Shizny's team of the season item and after adding him into the team and noticing that Reem was holding us back in terms of chemistry because of his nationality and his club, I replaced him with a centre back that we packed earlier on in the video and now a centre back had full chemistry. Now I did have a plan to replace Mbappe and that was to get 5 wins in the Champions Finals because we can get a really good card from doing that. But this was the team that we now had and it was now time for us to enter into the Champions Finals. Oh wow, first game and this is the team that we have to beat. And after going down by a goal in this game, I replied strongly by scoring 2 goals back but then late on into the game, my opponent scored another goal and in our first game, we were taken to extra time. But in extra time, Benasir finds Tammy Abraham who finds Gosens. Good skill and that's a good finish as well. And a massive reason as to why this game was so close was because I wasn't used to using a card like Tamiya Abraham and it's usually the more agile players like Son that I have more success with. But after surviving this game in the first game, we'd have to take down one of the best teams that I've ever seen in only our second game. But it seemed like I was getting used to using a card like Tammy. Tammy Abraham, good strength. And a good finish as well, but guys I'm not sure if completing this SPC was the right decision. Because like I said, I was used to the more agile, nimbler items. And Son was one of those cards. No, no one's there. And we concede. And I really wanted to win this game. And so I even moved Tammy Abraham out to the wing. Tammy Abraham on the wing now. Finds Benasir. Into Son. Yes, we're back in the lead. But it seemed like I was starting to get used to using Tammy Abraham. Benasir. Finds Tammy. This card has something to it. Benasir now. Finds Tammy once again. Good skill. Okay, I see you. And that goal would see us win our second game in the Champions Finals. It was at this point when I really started to gel with the team. Because Benasir and Rodri in the midfield were absolutely exceptional. And as I was getting better using Tammy Abraham, I found out that this card was so good that I didn't know what I'd do if I didn't have him in our team. This then allowed us to win the next two games that we played. And at this point, we needed to win one more game before we got another massive upgrade. And this is how that game went. Oh no, this guy's really good. Come on, we gotta get there. No, we find Son. But after conceding, Tammy wins the ball back and scores in an open net. And then we even take the lead. Son, good skill. We get lucky once again and we score once again. But it seemed like our luck had run out. Get there. No, he equalizes late on. And after our opponent equalized, no. Where is our defense? And this goal would cause us to lose this game. And since we still had to win 11 games and we could only lose 4, I had to turn up. Shakiri now, find Son. He moved his keeper and we score. Benasir, what a challenge. Into Rodri, who finds an amazing pass. And that allows us to score another goal. Time is through. I think he's on as well. And he's never going to miss from there. After this, good goals from Tammy and Shakiri would give us a 5 goal lead and this would cause our opponent to throw in the towel. At this point, we now had 5 wins and this meant we have another incredible premium footies item and since Mbappe was basically invisible in those games, I'm gonna have to change formation, this item is going to be replacing him. And his first game with us would go incredibly well. Tammy, this card is so good you just have to sprint and what a finish as well. Son, ball falls to Shakiri, that's a lovely goal. Oh, and our opponent's forfeited as well. But in the next game, after going up by one goal, it seemed like a honeymoon period had ended. Oh no. No. And shortly after conceding that goal, we'd concede another goal. I'd then be forced to fight hard to just equalize this game. But after equalizing, our opponent would once again take the lead. And this resulted in us getting our second loss. This meant that in order to get Muriel, we needed to win 9 games. But we could only lose 3. But even though we would concede in these games, we now had a team that was so good that it meant that we'd always be in contention of winning. And even though the opponents that we were facing were really good, it meant that the success of our Champions Finals campaign lied in my ability to win these games. And since we no longer had players that were holding us back, in the next 3 games that I played, I would try my best to win, and after winning a couple of games and having the momentum on my side, I would destroy the third opponent that I'd faced. And since we now had 10 wins, we had an 85 times 10 back to claim. 85 times 10, let's get our first footies item. No, it's gonna be Europa League card, and I bet you that's Gerard Moreno. Yep. 
but it was time for me to set my focus on winning some more games in the Champions Finals. And as soon as I entered back in, I was reminded that it was not going to be easy to win these games. And while the scoreline was 4-4 with not much time left, we'd be presented with one more opportunity in this game. Rodri finds time in the 91st minute and he scored. Yes, this card is the best decision we've ever made. To the point where I literally knew that we were going to score before I even shot the ball. This goal allowed us to win this game. And with the momentum on my side, I'd win the next game that we played as well. But in the game after that, we partake in an extremely drawn out game that resulted in me and my opponent scoring six goals against each other. And once again, late on into this game, we'd be presented with one more opportunity. Shakiri, decent skill. Beat his man. We find Benasse. And he finishes late on into the game. And by the skin of our teeth, we had just picked up another win. We now also only needed to win one more game out of our last five to tie our record from the last video. But if we could win two out of these last five games, we would unlock Muriel. But once again, these games were not easy to play. Oh no. Oh, we concede. And considering the fact that I was playing at 2am, these games were mentally draining. But we now had a really good team. So my only limitation was my ability to play. Sammy Abraham, I'm gonna go for goal. And he scores. And a goal off of this corner would at least see us to extra time. Bremer, please. Yes, he scores. And after making a comeback to get into this position, my spirits were high. Tell me, Abraham. Good strength. Oh, this card is a glitch. Benasse now. Find Shakiri. We'll find Son. Good turn. What a finish as well. And after scoring this goal, our opponent would rage quit. This meant that we only had to win one out of our last four games. But if we could win two, we get our best ever finish in the Champions Finals for this account. Son now. Fan Shakiri. Good skill. And that's a good finish from Shaq. And after using such a cringy nickname, I'd have to score a decent goal to make up for it. Tammy. Oh, I'm in love with this card. That goal would then allow us to win this game. And winning this game meant we have unbelievably just gotten 15 wins in only our second week on this account. And this means that we've unlocked Muriel's insane footies item. Now the player he replaced was Shakiri, And this wasn't because Shakiri was bad or anything. But for the specific roles that I needed these players to play, the player that we got for winning 5 games in the Champions Finals was a perfect fit. On top of this, adding Muriel into the team meant that every single player on our team now had full chemistry and that allowed me to earn a trophy. However, it was a bronze one. But now that we have Muriel in our team, this is what our team was looking like and it seemed like we had been bitten by the footies bug. So this is the team that we have to beat to get our best ever finish in the Champions Finals. But they weren't going to make it easy on me. Oh no? Yeah, Tammy's never missing from there. But throughout this Champions Finals journey, I had surprised myself with the level of resilience that I had developed. Tammy. Good finish, we're back in the game. Tell me once again. The strength is incredible. I have no words for this card. But against opponents at this level, not focusing for one second could be extremely detrimental. Oh no? Oh, he came at me so fast. I had no time to adjust. And I feel like a broken record at this point. But this card just made the game so easy. Tell me, good run. I'm not even surprised he scored. Muriel would then assist Tammy who scored not one, but two more goals for us. And then after this, on his debut, Muriel scores. Which resulted in us winning this game. At this point, rank 3 rewards was guaranteed. But if I could win the last two games that I had in a row, I'd get my best ever finish on any account in the Champions Finals. And winning my penultimate game meant that I was in contention to do this. But after finding the best opponent that I've played this far, it was not looking likely. And then I ever score a goal to equalize. But after this, concede three goals in a row, which caused me to feel like giving up. Now for some reason, I decided to still stay in this game and try to fight back. Benasse. Muriel's making a good run. Come on, show us why we got you. Good chip. Okay, that's one goal back. Benasse once again. Into Tommy Abraham. Good skill. That's two goals back. And I was even surprising myself with how good I was playing. Tommy. No, there has to be a foul. Okay, we have a penalty. We have to score this to equalize. Oh, the composure. My opponent and I would then battle it out for the rest of this game. And honestly, we were dominating at this point. And then late on into this game. Oh no, he's pressing me really well. We have nowhere to go. We have to defend this. No. And after conceding that goal, I'd have to rush to try and get another goal back. And as a result of that, I'd concede another goal and lose out from getting my best ever finish by the smallest of margins. At this point, I was still happy with myself. Because like I said, on an account only one week old, we managed to tie our best ever finish. And the rewards that we'd get from this would help us to massively upgrade our team. Okay, so while we were playing, our players had sold. And then I'm just going to quick sell these other items that I didn't sell. But now we have our rewards to open. Now the first four basic player picks that we had were okay. But now it's time for us to open our team of the season or shapeshifters player picks. First player pick. 
Ooh, Marquinhos. We might not be able to link him, but he is a decent card to have on the account. Second player pick now. Oh, we got Memphis to buy. An incredible midfielder worth more than 200,000 coins. And if we were to use him, we could free up the coins that we had in Ben Asir. I then opened two of the terrible packs that we had in the store. And although we didn't pack anything crazy, we could still list these items and make a decent amount of coins off of them. And so this is what I did. And after doing this, we were left with a single pack in the store. Team of the season or shapeshift this first pack. And we're gonna get a team of the season. And it looks like it's going to be to Stegen. Now behind to Stegen was two decent team of the season items. And on average, these items sold for about 50,000 coins. And so I listed these three items. Okay, so I've been thinking about it. And if we wanted to use Memphis to buy in our team, it would cause us to lose chemistry because we don't have any La Liga players in our team. Now Rodrigo is a La Liga player and he would be an incredible upgrade, but he's just way too expensive for us to complete. And even with the 345,000 coins that we now have, there aren't really any upgrades that we can make that fit into this team. But to be honest with you, with the team that we have right now, I feel like we don't need any upgrades because all of these players have been incredibly good. And since we don't have a lot of time left, we need to start our push to Division 1. But in only the first game, we were given a scare. However, after conceding two goals to this opponent, it seemed like I was just a bit rusty because it was my first game of the day. Because after scoring two, I proceed to score another three more goals and win this game 5-2. I then proceed to win the next two games that I played as well, which would allow me to surpass the first checkpoint in Division 3. But if I could win the next game, due to the win streak that we were on, we would make it to the final checkpoint before Division 2. St. Just. Oh, we missed the challenge and we concede. But we got this card for one reason. Muriel. That's a lovely solo goal. And the reason was because he was the card that would help us get into Division 1. And Tammy Abraham was good too. Tammy Abraham, they can't keep up with him. But then our opponent would slide the hurricane through. And after he teed up Son to equalize the game, no, he's celebrating on me, there's no way I'm losing this game. And so I simply didn't lose this game. Because after scoring three more goals, Muriel would then be given a free kick. Muriel now, let's see it. Oh, we scored, we have to hit the gritty on him. And after unlocking another trophy and hitting the mandatory gritty, this opponent rage quitted and we had made it to that checkpoint. I then proceeded to dominate in the next game that I played against somebody who's been playing FIFA for a decade now. And this meant that winning our next game was crucial because it would allow us to make it into Division 2. And in this game, when I found one of the opponents that I had already defeated, I was confident that I'd make it into Division 2. However, this confidence would do nothing but harm me because it caused me to rush out against this opponent. And as a result of that, I conceded a total of 3 goals. At this point, I had to humble myself and start to play my normal game once again. Tell me Abraham now. Fanson. Yes, there's one goal back. We don't have a lot of time left. Muriel now. This is too far to shoot. Back to Muriel. Lovely skill. And he scores. The game's tied up. And later on into a game that we had to win, we would be given one more opportunity. Go sense. No, we get blocked. No, we get blocked once again. And after failing to score on this opportunity, we had drawn this game, which meant that we lost our win streak and also meant that this challenge would take a lot longer to complete. And it was important that we won every single game that we played because at this point, time was not on our side and conceding first in this game definitely wasn't ideal. But this goal from Muriel was. And after scoring that goal, we would proceed to score another two goals in this game. But then, okay, our opponent pause this game. Is he gonna forfeit? No, he resumes the game once again. Wait, what just happened? And after assuming that my opponent left, which would obviously result in us winning this game, I was shown this message. And it seemed like the reason that I was disconnected from this game was because of the fact that the servers had gone down. Okay, so I just logged back onto the game and it says that we disconnected from the last game. And there's no way they gave us a loss for that game. And frustrated, with not much time left to complete this challenge, I went into the next game and absolutely destroyed the opponent that I had faced. This meant that once again, we were only two wins away from making it into Division 2. Now these games were getting a lot tougher and this could be seen by the fact that even though we did win this game, it was only by one goal. However, a win is a win, and this meant that if we won the very next game that we played, we'd make it into Division 2. So now, with the step of us, and he could have just sent us into Division 2, but how wrong I seem to have been. Oh no, who's there? No. And then later on into this game, no. There's no way he scored from there. And after conceding that goal, I wouldn't be able to score one myself. And at this point, it seemed like the game was just against me because we had just lost the game that we very clearly should have won. And then I ever bounced back extremely well with a dominant performance that caused our opponent to rage quit. And once again, we were only one game away from making it into Division 2. Now in the next game, I'd find the very same opponent that I just destroyed. However, at this point, I'd noticed a massive problem because this opponent would leave while the game was tied up. And while normally this would be fine, on this occasion, 
it wasn't. Because at the time of recording, not many players were this high up in the divisions. And as a result of this, finding a game took so much time. And majority of the time, I couldn't even find a game. This meant that when we did eventually find a game, we had to make the most of it. Ben Asse finds Gosens out on the wing. Who scores? But after scoring that goal, my opponents and I would not be able to score against each other until the 87th minute. Tell me now, has been so clutch for us in this video? Can he score? Of course he can! And thanks to Tammy, we had made it into Division 2. Now at this point, I didn't have much time left. And it wasn't looking likely that I'd be able to complete this challenge. Because the games that we were playing were extremely tight. And in order to complete this challenge, I needed to put together an incredible win streak. And our first game in Division 1 would be an extremely tough game. Tammy late on. Scores! Son. Yes, good finish, which caused our opponent to forfeit. At this point, courtesy of the win streak that we were on, winning our next game would mean they would make it to a checkpoint. Now, after finding the next game, I was given the weirdest error that I'd ever received when playing FIFA, and it just felt like the world was against me. But fortunately, our win streak was still intact, and this meant that we still had a chance. We really are now. Beats his man. Find Son. Good skill. Oh, we get blocked. But then our opponent would make a mistake. Tammy, good steal, into Benasse, who finds Muriel, and this time we score. Now unfortunately, after scoring this goal, our opponent would do well and equalize the game. But for me, losing this game was not an option, and after Tammy did his thing to put us in the lead, he'd be given the opportunity to deliver the killing blow. Tammy's in the box, yes, he scores, and our opponent rage quits as well. This meant that we made it to the checkpoint and winning the next two games in a row would allow us to make it to the next checkpoint. Now in these games, my back was against the wall and so I showed that I wanted it way more than my opponents did and as a result of that, I managed to win the next two games in a row and we were now at the final checkpoint before Division 1. I then proceed to score early on in the next game but after my opponents equalized the game, they hit the mandatory gritty on me and then leave while the game was tied up. Now fortunately, this meant that our win streak was still intact but having my time wasted like this was the last thing that I needed. I then go into another game and concede early on but desperate to complete this challenge I turned up and scored a total of four goals against this opponent and this resulted in us winning this game and benefiting from our win streak. I then find another game against one of the opponents that I'd beaten previously but this opponent would then leave the game once again while it was tied up and this was starting to frustrate me. This frustration would then cause me to draw a game and lose my win streak and in the next game after having to battle with lag and somehow managing to get a 2-1 lead this is what took place. We need to make sure we mark him. No, we concede late on. And at this point, it looked like we were set to draw this game. However, after this... No. Is he onside? How did he kick through me? And we had just lost this game late on. And you can imagine the emotional state that I was in at this point. And at this point, we'd have to win three games in a row in order to make it into Division 1. To make things even worse, in the next game that I played, I'd find the exact same opponent. However, I knew that this could very well be our last chance of completing this challenge. So I remained calm and focused. And as a result of that, won this game 2-0. I then found another game, and knowing that if I just won this game, I'd only have to win one more, I was motivated and won this game because of that. Okay, if we win the next game, we'll pick up a win streak, and that will allow us to make it into Division 1. And this is how that game went. Tammy, that has to be a far. Yes, we just got a penalty. Now I'm gonna go to the right, and he doesn't save it. But this penalty wasn't the only opportunity that I had. Because throughout the rest of this game, I'd continue to get opportunity after opportunity, but not taking these chances meant that our opponent was always in the game. Rory. So how you have to defend this? No. And the way this challenge has been going for me, you couldn't even imagine the amount of frustration that I was in at this point. On top of this, drawing this game meant that we lost our win streak and because we only had 30 minutes left at this point, we had to win the last two games that we had in a row. Ben now. Finds time Abraham. Oh wow, we scored a goal. But this was not an easy game, and our opponent would have their chances. So we needed to make sure that we increased this lead. So now, scores, we have a two goal lead. But shortly after kicking off, our opponent would get in behind and score a goal against us. And after what had happened to us in the last game, my confidence at this point was not the greatest. Rodri finds Muriel. Who scores? We have a two goal lead once again. But after scoring that goal, our opponent would once again get their players in behind and score another goal as a result of that. At this point, I was certain that I was going to concede another goal, but miraculously, we ended up defending well enough and as a result of that, winning this game. Now with only 15 minutes left, this means that we'd have one more opportunity at making it into Division 1. But after finding an extremely skilled opponent and conceding first, the odds were heavily stacked against us. But we got this man for one reason. Muriel finds time Abraham. Good assist and a good finish. Ben Asena finds Muriel. 
who scores? He's doing what we got him to do. And we got him to help us make it into Division 1. Muriel. With another goal, we're up by two goals. However, 70 plus minutes into this game, quick passing from my opponent would give them an opportunity. No? No, I didn't read him quick enough. And with the way the challenge has been going till this point, I was certain that I'd concede another goal. Son, set his teammate up. Who scores? We're up by two goals again. But with only a two goal lead, we still won't save. Muriel now. Finds time Abraham. What a goal! However, two goals from Tammy Abraham would make us a lot safer. Tammy now has brought his keeper out. Lovely finish. And then the last goal that we scored would be the icing on the cake. He thinks I'm going to pass. Let's turn. What a finish. And that finish would then allow us to win this game. And winning this game meant that we had just been promoted into Division 1. And this is the team that we put together while doing that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy one of these ones. So go ahead and click on any of those videos to watch them.